Hi guys, Rich Bop here. Just thought I'd do a little follow up vlog to tell you how my MRI went. Um, I know you guys know that I'm fine because I've been vlogging every day. Well, posting videos every day anyway. Um, but I thought for you guys who haven't had one before, I know a lot of you have. You post in the comments and thank you so much for doing that because you really put my mind at ease. And it was so nice knowing how much support and good feeling I had behind me that when I went into that tunnel, I felt, I felt loved. So, and that's a good feeling. But, yes, what happened? Well... Um, the actual MRI is painless, so if you're going for an MRI and you're watching this, because this is what I was trying to find, I was trying to find videos online of people that had actually done it so that, you know, I could get know whether to get scared or not, I suppose, even though I wasn't scared until the actual night before and then I started getting quite a little bit scared. Basically what happens is you go into a tunnel and it's not shut at either end, it's completely open at both ends but um, it's quite confined. Mine, my actual MRI was at 8 in the morning which I'm glad of because it got it out of the way. It was like the first thing I did and I wasn't allowed to wear any makeup because it was on my brain. So that was like kind of good because no one had to see me <laughs> but yeah I had to, I couldn't wear any jewellery I had to they said don't wear anything with metal don't take credit cards in the lady did say she said to a guy she kept asking me have you got anything on you and I was like no no and she said she kept asking a guy once if he had anything on him before he went in and he said no and then when he came out he'd realised he took his iPhone in with him and it totally got wiped I would never be so stupid. I, 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 he must have not really loved his iPhone to do that. Anyway, yeah, it wipes all the memory from it. Com yeah, wipes it completely, makes it unusable if you take your iPhone in or credit cards or anything. So that's why they ask you not to do that. Um, and obviously, you take anything metal and it can distort the images because it's a magnetic machine. So. Yeah, um, I went in, took half an hour, I didn't have to wear a robe or anything, it, I just went, I had leggings on, um, a top, I was allowed to keep my bra on, I was worried about the hooks on the bra because they're metal but she never mentioned anything about that so that's fine but that's probably because it was on my head, I think if it was a, been a full body scan they might have made me wear a robe but because it was just on my head I think I was okay um <clears throat> so yeah I went in I had to have it said on on my actual appointment that there was two MRIs but both at the same time and that confused me a little bit um but basically I had to have one without the dye and then one with the dye injection and the dye is basically a fluid that they put in your arm and it goes into your brain and circles around and makes the images clearer so they did like half of it well it was kind of like 20 minutes of it without and then they put the dye in um, for the last 10 minutes well it really it was the last 8 minutes I knew that because she told me um, the machine is extremely loud but you're kind of grateful of it because you can't think because it's so loud she gave me um, not only is the whole thing quite confined it's not like hugely confined it's you could sort of put your arm up and just touch the top comfortably or I could um, but I didn't obviously but you but then as you lie down they put this cage over your head and that's like there and then it has like a rear view mirror sticking up so you can see out the other end um, and she she did ask me if I was claustrophobic and I said no but she said once you get in there you probably will be so she advised that I put on an eye mask, you know, like those things that you wear when you go to bed. That's my impression. Um, she advised that I put one of those on and I wasn't going to and then I sort of got a bit chicken and I was like, yes please, can I have the eye mask? And she put it on for me because she'd already put the wire in my arm. I'll explain about that later. Um, yeah, <laughs> the 
this is really long winded, I'm sorry if this means nothing to you, but I just feel it's important to put this information out there for people such as me before this. So yeah, they um, put the mask on and that I'm really glad they did that because she said some people go in and they say, I'll close my eyes, I'm not bothered. But then when they get in there, you just can't resist opening your eyes. And I did open my eyes even though I had my mask on, but all I could see was like down the bottom like past my nose so I could just see her walking around so that was alright um, I think the length of the time I was in there made it scary for me it was a, a fully surreal experience it was like you've been abducted by aliens and they were testing you and you just sort of wake up and obviously I was pretty sleepy anyway because of my problem of drinking and weeing a lot it made it quite uncomfortable for me going half an hour without having a drink or a wee so that was an issue but um apart from that it was painless although the the dye now I had to have a tube in my arm down here I don't know if I can show the markages they're not that bad you see there Oh, I don't know if I'm showing you the right... There we go. You can see a little bit of a bruise and, like, three really weird dots. I don't know. There's hardly anything there anyway. But she said to me, it's completely painless, which it was. She put a tube in. Unfortunately, she showed me what happened. I've never had one. I think it was called a cannula. I don't know. I'm probably getting that wrong. But she... I didn't look. I'm not bothered about needles or anything like that, but this I wasn't sure of because she got the big plastic tube... And she had like a injection thing, what do you call it, syringe at the other end and she had saline in it and she did that and showed it coming out on the other end. If she hadn't have done that I would have been fine but that really sort of did something to me, it freaked me out. So she put, she attached that to whatever she put in my arm, I don't know, I did look. Um, and she said, I'm just going to test it now, tell me what it feels like. So she did it and it just felt cold. She said, that's right, it should feel cold. If it's stinging, that means I haven't put it in the vein. <laughs> okay, so it didn't sting, that's okay. All right, so it's just feeling cold. So I'm like in this tunnel and I don't know what's going through my head then. I was okay, but my arm started to go really, really numb and like get pins and needles. And I was sort of thinking, oh, she must be putting the dye in now. And about halfway, I presume it was halfway through, I started to get the urge to be sick. And then and then it got to like eight minutes to the end where she turned on things saying, are you okay? I'm going to put the dye in now. And I was like, by then the sickness had passed. And I was just like, yeah. And I was thinking, oh my, like that's, I thought she'd already put the dye in. What the hell has she put, been putting in? But the day was okay, the, the, it's just, it was just uncomfortable feeling and because and you're worried about it as well, you're sort of anticipating pain but the um, the actual, like, for the beginning of it was fine, it was just once my arm had gone numb and then when it was over you sort of feel a little bit abused and you come out and you're sort of a little bit shaky you know, I'd just woken up, I was feeling a little bit delicate and my arm was just, I could hardly move it um, I think that's because of the extra fluid in the joint. Um, I found it very difficult and I did ask her, like, when will I, like, be able to move it? And she said it, it sh you shouldn't have any pain, but if you, it should wear off, even though you shouldn't have any. And just try to, you know, give us a call if it didn't go away. So I just... I uh, it was hurting all night. I was really tired, but I think that's mainly because I was dehydrated. Um, and yeah, it was all over and all done. Unfortunately, I forgot to ask when do I get my results because I'm an idiot. So I have no idea. Other few various sources on the internet say it should be within two weeks, which might be prolonged because of this massive holiday we're having right now. Thanks to the Queen, God bless her soul. And um, yeah, so I'm going over 10 minutes now. I'm sorry guys, I'm going on. But I just want to share this with you. It's, 
I, I just felt like there was none out there for when I needed to. And you guys were all there when I asked. That was great. There was nothing there when I searched. There was just other, like, in pictures of people going in. I just, I want, like, real stories. So here you go, it's a real life story of an MRI scan. <laughs> That's going to be the title now. A real life story of an MRI scan. Um... Yeah, I'm wittering on now. I think I've told you everything. My arm was completely better by the next day. So, and and they do say if you do have side effects from the dye, that's a completely different thing. You'll have it straight away while you're there. And it's like hives and stuff and it's really, really rare. I didn't have that. So I think it's just the, the extra fluid in my arm sort of adjusting from being in one place. They told you not to move it. So you're obviously going to get pins and needles because there's not much blood going down there. It's all being pumped back up with the saline. I, I don't know. I don't understand it. But I've been in, probably been chipped by aliens. And hopefully I'll get good results very soon. I'll let you know when I get the results anywhere. I'll keep you guys posted with my health. Um, and I just want to get fixed. I'm sick of going to the toilet. <laughs> and I'm sick of drinking. Anyway, gonna go. Comment below if you have diabetes insipidus. I comment below if you don't. But if you do, let me know. I want to hear from you. Um, and also, I love to hear your thoughts on MRI scans. Um, I know a lot of you have had them and you told me your experiences when I told you I was going for one. Thank you so much. Um, but if you, any of you haven't shared yet, post below because people want to know. It's like people don't talk about these things enough and we need to because they're not as scary as we think they are. So I'm going to go. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Hope you're all well. Bye. I had to press the button while you're playing, I guess. Oh god, it can't play. Uh, hang on. Right. It's really difficult to press the button while you're blowing a kiss. Right, I'm gonna do it.